It's a rare occasion to see clear blue skies in Shanghai. CO2 emissions from the immense amount of motor vehicles are trapped in our Earth's atmosphere, causing what we know as the greenhouse effect. Over the years, our Earth is getting warmer, ice caps are melting, and certain habitats are lost. We are now facing the biggest problem to our environment, global warming. As we live our ordinary lives, we leave behind a carbon footprint. A carbon footprint is an abstract measurement of how much CO2 we release into the atmosphere. The pie chart represents the percentage of CO2 emissions from each category that the average person uses. The average person releases 10 tons of CO2, which is equivalent to filling up 24 million balloons with carbon. The world's population produces about 60 million tons of CO2 every 24 hours. These numbers are still increasing over the years, severely damaging our fragile environment. To solve this problem, Roots and Shoots has taken steps in order to reduce the amount of CO2 released in the atmosphere. Well, the purpose of, of planting trees is, is many fold. Uh, one purpose is to uh, fight the encroaching deserts, and reduce the formation of deserts in Inner Mongolia. Uh, trees will hold the soil in place, keep the soil from drying out and blowing away, and then burying uh, other uh, plants and covering up other productive soils. So by planting trees, you stabilize the the soil uh, and keep it from blowing away. So this reduces the formation of deserts, which we call desertification. But uh, another real uh, purpose of planting trees is that trees, as they grow, as they grow, remove carbon dioxide from the air, uh, and they store the carbon dioxide in their tissues for as long as the tree is alive. So every tree will suck out and absorb carbon dioxide and add it to their mass every year. A lot of that mass is, is carbon. So in this way here you are what we call sequestering carbon from the atmosphere. And, uh, and that reduces our, our, the carbon dioxide in the air, which of course is related to global warming. Um, and in this way here people can buy uh, a tree to have planted and it will reduce their carbon footprint. So the idea of a carbon footprint is that everyone uh, is responsible for the release of a certain amount of carbon. Those people that fly a lot or drive a lot, they burn a lot of fossil fuels, uh, they have a bigger carbon footprint than those people who don't do those activities. So one way of reducing your impact on the environment on a, on the, on a global scale is to, is to plant trees on a local scale. Roots and shoots have started to plant trees in Inner Mongolia since April of 2007, and now it is still on its way to approach its final ultimate goal. First of all, the, the project is being work, organized through, through the Jane Goodall Institute in, in, uh, in Shanghai. And the goal, the overall goal, is to plant one million trees. I mean, count them. One, two, three. There's a million, a million trees. Uh, and, that's, and that's pretty exciting. Uh, to date, they've planted 80,000 trees, so they're well on, on their way. And our goal, uh, Roots and Shoots, uh, SAS, Hushi, uh, was to uh, raise money to plant 1,000 trees. And to date, uh, we have over 900 trees purchased, uh, and uh, we will be involved in planting them this, this spring, uh, we're planning on sending a group of students and a chaperone to Inner Mongolia to work on uh, four days of, of tree planting. We now live in a planet where its future is no longer proven. Unless we don't take a step forward to plant trees and reduce CO2 emission, we might not be able to look at the blue sky in Shanghai again. You can help. Get involved. Buy trees that was be planted by Shanghai Roots and Shoots in the Desert in Inner Mongolia.
contact Roots and Shoots now.